Quiet on the set, everyone. Speed. Action. <laughs> oh, that was really loud. <laughs> Today I'm going to make some leek chips. So the other day my boyfriend asked me if I could make him some leek and potato soup. So I uh, made the leek and potato soup and I ended up with all this extra stuff so that I didn't know what to do with and I thought what a waste just throwing that out. So I did a bit of googling and found out that you can actually make chips out of this stuff. So this is the ones I've got from before that I've had in the... F <laughs> Nick! <laughs> that I've had in the freezer, can't get good help around here, and um, I've taken them out of the freezer and they've defrosted and they're a little bit wet, so which is really good because that's going to help the flour stick. So I'm just going to put these together here so I can cut them up, and what I've got over here is some flour and I've got the chicken macelle powder which is, I put on everything, it's fantastic, I just love it. And so I put a couple of teaspoons heat in that bit of flavouring there, mix it around, and garlic powder, which I just love, garlic powder. So just put it into taste, whatever you like. I like a lot of it. Um, Vinny likes a lot of it, so we eat a lot of it. Okay, mix that together. Now I've got my, my uh, leek leaves here, and I'm just gonna cut them up like this, sort of chip size, like that. And then I'll just get a few and then put them into the flour and just toss that around like that. A few more in, because they're a bit wet, so they're going to, the flour sticking. However, I don't know how this is gonna go in the coconut oil, but we'll see. Is that, do we need to do that again? We'll just review, we'll just review it. We'll And I've been cooking um, my tofu steaks in coconut oil now instead of um, instead of normal oil, olive oil, and it's just got this different flavour. It's amazing. Here, I'm going to take these out now. Okay, so this is the final product. It doesn't look that appetising, but I can tell you it tastes delicious. You could actually um, slice these up a bit more and maybe make it just as a garnish on top of your food or just as a side, put it at um, the chips um, you know, on the side of a meal or something like that. But great for the kids, delicious. A um, bit of coconutty flavour, a bit of the flour and that stuff's done really well. So yeah, I'm gonna dig in and have a taste. Mm. Yeah, these are good. These are really good. <laughs> I'm just going to eat them on my own. Hey, what is this? <laughs> wow. Get out of the way. Oh my god. Get out of the way. Are you going to freaking make Every time. No way. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Fish. Fish. Mm -hmm. Ah. These are good. Mmm. Mm. Very nice. At least be like, get out of the road. You being like, all right, you guys, like. <laughs> Age before beauty, Vinny. No, I should go first. And don't forget to click subscribe. And if you've got any ideas or anything you want to see, or you want to come and be a guest on my show, send us an email. Oh, yeah. All right, get out of the way. I don't think you've made enough. <laughs> we can do a diet version of this. <laughs> you know what? This is the shit. Hot sauce mayonnaise dipping. Mmm. We need garlic powder. Do we go get it? Finny. Finny might have to go get some garlic powder. Do you really? really need to get garlic powder? Is it going to go? 